Uh, we have been recording. Hi, greetings, everybody. Uh, this is Pesli Pepper. This is the Art Lexi podcast, and we are finally past so past the 150th episode. So many, <laughs> many thanks to all my guests uh, over the past few years. It's much appreciated. But before I get into that, guys, remember uh, the Art Lexi is nominated for the AVP uh, Awards under the Arts and Culture category. And yeah, man, I'll appreciate your vote. Um, I will be updating the um, uh, my uh, channel. Uh, I want <laughs> I will be adding the voting link on my channel. So if you don't vote, if you don't catch it on my social media platforms, you will catch it on the uh, art links on the YouTube channel. And much love to the AVP for A P V. <laughs> Sorry, I always get the I get the P and the V confused. It's A P V A Awards. Askies, askies, askies. Um, Thanks for thanks for recognizing the talent and the hard work that was put into the Art Lexia podcast, and I hope I win. I hope I win. So if anyone is listening to this, um, yeah, man, just check out the link. I need your vote, and I will very much appreciate it. It's 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 actually, I'm I'm still, I'm very impressed that I got nominated. I'm very impressed. Um, so yeah, so um, just one more, just one more thing, guys. Remember. Uh, if you're new to this channel um, and you get and you appreciate this content, smash that like and subscribe button. And if you like, you don't like anything here, uh, that's what the comment sections are for. Um, I would appreciate to hear from anybody on um, on what you guys are seeing. And if it's any feedback that, or something like that, I'm always open to that. Um, okay, guys. So uh, today, today I'm talking about something that I'm uh, to, to, to today's episode or something I'm really passionate about. Uh, we're talking coding. Um, yes, coding, finally, technology, yes, um, this is something I'm incredibly passionate, you know that we're working with Gallery 360 Africa, and our idea is, is to build a platform for, uh, for for artists, specifically for artists in Southern Africa or in Africa, That we're a platform that we can trust, that we can uh, sell our art and so forth, and we want to move with this um, uh, 5G, or they call it uh, this new wave, this new wave of technology. I think the fact that African, I uh, as a as a um, as as an artist and as an entrepreneur, there's something that really frustrates me is the fact that we always follow tech trends coming in from the West. Um, I think it's high time that Africa starts setting our own trends and start building our own platform. That's something I'm incredibly proud of. And that's I'm very excited to announce my guest today. Uh, I'm talking to Smurf from Move, the Movement Story Technology. They did a Nelson Mandela Day coding tournament in Lockshin in the Northern Cape, and we were talking everything about that. So let's get straight into it. Um, my brother, firstly, greetings and welcome, and welcome to everybody in the background. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, we really appreciate you and for reaching out and having us on this platform today. Um, Salud. How are you? Uh, it was a pretty busy week, to be honest. Uh, but I'm okay. It's nice and it's not that cold today. Um, I was expecting a colder morning. Uh, but I'm, um, but I'm, but I'm, uh, but I'm, but I'm in good spirits, and I'm really looking forward to talking to you guys, man. So um, let's jump straight into it, man. First, let's start. Let's take from the beginning, or let's start <laughs> from the beginning. Explain to us uh, who um, Movement Story Technology is. Explain to us where you are based and what you guys are doing. We will take it from there. So I'm Smurf, or you can call me, my my original name is Adrian. Um, I'm the founder of Movement Story Technology, and the reason, or oh, let me say, the name uh, Movement Story Technology is derived from you know from a young age. I've been passionate with dance. I'm a dancer myself. I'm a, I used to do competition. I teach dance here as well. And I'm also into, I did computer science. So now these are the two different wor worlds, the arts and technology. But um, I have passion. I had passion um, for both sides. So now um, growing up, I'm like, okay, do I have to choose dance or do I have to choose um, technology? But I came to realize that you can actually um, combine the both, um, so hence the movement in between the story and technology. So it's all about the stories between the, um, on the both sides, the art sides, the technology. 
is here in the in Loxton and the Northern Cape. Um, the company focuses on community youth development through arts, tourism, and technology. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic, fantastic. Uh, we're very similar in that regard. Uh, I'm a visual artist, that's my base. And um, as I said earlier, I'm very, very invested in uh, technology and especially networking and talking to other people within a similar space. Um, so we're kind of similar in that regard. Um, can you just tell me since, uh, since when have you guys have been operating? Uh, since when has um, MST been operational? So MST has been around since 2019. Um, I was, okay, I was part of uh, Forgotten Angle Theatre Collaborative. I was an intern. Um, I studied as a dance trainee, and then I then became um, a dance, agriculture, and social media intern. So during that time, um, I, I started the company, but it only got registered in 2021. But I've been working... Um, uh, the company was there since 2020, 19, only got registered 2021. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Okay, man. So, um, you know, the reason for this, uh, for today's recording is to talk about the Mandela Day coding tournament. Uh, I guess let's take, let's take it from the beginning. Firstly, tell me, uh, before we get to the actual tournament, what you guys, uh, you know, what it, what it, what it, how it works and so forth. Um, hello? Still there? Uh, hello. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, there was a uh, there was a delayed broadcast there, but it's okay. But it's okay. As, as as I said, this thing this thing happens more often than you would think. Um, yeah, man. As I okay. was saying, uh, uh, today we're gonna talk about the or rather the, the thing for the day is the to talk about the coding tournament. But um, first, first, just tell us. Take us from the beginning, man. Tell us how. Uh, 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 firstly, how do you how do you how do you get youth interested in coding? How do you where do you where do you get the kids from? What is the age group? What do they um, I guess what is the requirements to uh, to be part of a tournament like this? And how do you kind of like um, I guess spread awareness or interest around um, coding? Okay, so um, there's actually two phases um, to this whole um, thing that we're doing, right? So the yeah, first but... one, the reason why I also um, I, I wanted these guys with me to be here because yeah, they're actually we'll, the center. We'll chat to them. Yes, they're the center to um, all this as well because it starts with them and then the second part is the children. So the children are kids at the school. So we actually in partnership with the local school here in, in Loxton, um, JJ Boys in Primary School, and we've uh, also um, gone in partnership with Victoria West Combined School as well. So, you know, um, most of the things that we have learned or most of the knowledge that we've gotten, I believe we've gotten it from playing outside or playing with friends or not necessarily um, in a classroom. Or even you learn something in a classroom, you understand it better when a friend of you explains it you know when someone on your uh, or, or like your age group explains it so um especially we in a remote area where coding is um not accessible um we do, there's no computer labs there is no um any event that has to do uh, about coding about computer computer workshops and and sure. and, and you know sure. so um the idea um we actually learn coding via playing a game um which is called ranges um, ranges is developed by um tangible africa and mandela university so this game is a basic introduction to coding it has, you know, coding is all about instructions, you know. So now we do not necessarily get the kids. We don't want the kids to, so our objective is not for the kids to start coding and or ask um, everyone to become, to become a programmer. But our um, focus is to get them 
um, exposed to, 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 to this type of work, to this type of a program. And with coding, it then gets them um, grow their critical thinking, um, their problem solving, their communication and collaboration. Because this game requires one um, to play within a group. I'm just going to show you the... Yeah, yeah, please do. Please box. do. I was so going to ask. This is the uh, ranges. So it's, 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 uh, it's specifically designed for uh, rural places where there's no um, labs, you know. So now the kids know. So what I do, I have uh, after school programs and then I have the in-school program where we go to the school, um, we work with the school. So we have a period within the day. Um, and then we, the afternoon classes uh, um, after after school program is the one where we even call the kids. We playing a game. So now the term playing, they actually come to play. So while playing, they're actually learning um, coding. So it's because uh, you know when you tell people, even adults, when you say um, you're going to learn. It's a serious thing. Sometimes it becomes so overwhelming, overwhelming, and then it's like just the knowledge passes without sinking. I get that. I know exactly so what you're so saying. We, so we we using what we call um, um, play based learning. You know, so we're going back to the old days where I believe when when I was young, I learned a lot of things by playing. So. This is what we're doing with the kids. Can you uh, Come, explain let's to play us, games? Can you explain to us how does a game work? So, okay, um, you have tokens. Let me just open here. You have these tokens. Okay, you have these tokens. So you just need a smartphone for it, right? So what happens, the tokens have instructions, uh, movement instructions like forward, backward, um, move left and right. So you have um, to capture, so you have a ranger and a poacher, and you have to save the, what do you call this, the, the rhino. So the sure. game also now introduces the element of um, environment. Uh, sure. the importance of environment so it brings awareness to environment uh, environmental um what's this environmental knowledge to the kids yeah, you know so now they have to capture a poacher before the poacher kills the rhino and the idea that we also add in the game is that you do not have to kill the poacher or bump the poacher with your car you just have to capture it so to bring awareness as well about um, killings and all that, that it's also safe to, you know, yeah. So now you, these tokens, we always give an, a, an example to when we introduce the game to the kids to say, every day when you work up, you open your eyes when like on a daily basis, you have certain um, things that you do on a daily basis, but you first have to, um, open your eyes or wake up whatever you do um, in the morning, wake up, brush your, to uh, your, your teeth, wash your face, and then you start your day. Yeah. So yeah. the game has a start button. The game has a start button. So without that start button, whatever you do, whether you do the correct um, sequence to, to solve the um, um, puzzle, it will never move you first have to switch it on. You have to wake up to begin your day. Yeah. So that's, um, those, those are the elements that we use also to also get them to understand. Okay, so coding is actually what I do on a daily basis. I'm, I'm embodying coding on a daily basis, not necessarily something that I'm not related to. It's actually what you do on a daily basis, but you have to put, now we're putting it, here because uh, we also bring an element of people think they've never used computers and and but this is a type of a computer and yes, everyone yeah. has used what's that box uh, yes 
Um, can I can I can I hear from the from the students over there? Um, is anyone uh, is anybody willing to tell me how do they do they enjoy the game? Are they learning? Is it exciting? Are you good at it? You, yeah. Can I can I get a a, a a sample of what these kids have to say? Yeah. They look kind of Afrikaans, Brad. Okay. <laughs> but, but English is now in my veins. Okay, now I'll pronounce English, my bro. Okay, my, my name is Maxwell Matthews. Man. How are you? I live here in London for 20 years now. Now, the, the this game and coding, the teach the trainer, man. Uh, learn me about, you don't uh, always have to, you have to be educated and stuff like that. Because I'm uned, uneducated, but look where I am today. I'm teaching to the teachers coding because they haven't acknowledged that before, yes. So, yeah. Salute, Mauti. Um, salute. And that involves the 21st century skills also. Awe. Awe. So, yeah. Awe. Has there anyone else? Anyone? I don't know if it's there. No. So, the 21st century skills, sorry, I'm Bianca Lucana. Bianca. I'm also in Logston. Bianca. Yeah, Bianca. Oh, yeah. Um, so the 21st century skills talks about communication, problem solving, how to work as a team, and critical thinking, creative thinking. They can also do collaboration in the game. So actually, it's a great experience for these kids sure. because they get to learn a lot of things just by playing. Um, Smurf, to bring you to bring you the um, um what Bianca was saying there about uh, about um, problem solving. Uh, I think that is most probably one of the most overlooked, uh, I would say, underappreciated skills in the education system today. I'm of the belief that education system actually overwhelms kids, and it actually takes mm -hmm. away the problem solving, where they becoming sort yeah. of used to people giving them answers. Because we have, you know, if you, if, if you, I just want to give you a quick example. Like, unfortunately, these days we have, if you want to have a best selling book or something, then you must tell people what to think, what to link, how, how to think, how to sleep, how to exercise, how to eat, so forth and so mm -hmm. forth. We are unfortunately living in a society where people don't want to think. And you don't have to look further than that than our politics. Um, so, I, so, so I think that problem, problem solving and art in particular has an incredible role to play in that. So just explain to me a little bit more how, uh, I guess, uh, what type of tools does this game use uh, to enhance people's problem solving and how is the youth, um, you know, how are they taking to it? So um, what do, the game requires um, to be played in a group. So we play five, five is the number to work with. So five in a group. So the idea around that is, uh, like uh, I said, the company focuses on community youth development, right? So community speaks about these five people or groups, you know? So in the community where we are, you get that kids can't, um, even adults can't work with each other, can't support yep. each other at all. Yep. You say to the next person, no, it's not done like that. It's world war three happening you know yeah. so um so the game um teaches them how to work together because when they work when they are playing the game they are required to um communicate um bring ideas on the table together and like uh, um just to explain like what happened with men uh, yesterday as well and yeah Mandela, yeah 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 i want to get to Oh, yeah, okay, cool. You, so the game you. just the the game um gets these five individuals um from different um households, different back backgrounds, to then bring in like okay, I think this is how we have to solve the the the, the, the problem. Someone else no says okay, no, it's not the way. Let's actually try this way. So now it's actually. Being in a space, how how do you um, come as individuals? You do not know each other, 
and then you have to share this space um, where um, you're going to be stepping on each other's toes. And with other things, you'll see, no, this is a wrong move to play. But someone emphasizes on, no, let's play this move. So now it also comes in a way of how do you, even if it's wrong, how do you say to the person, but um, it's not the wrong, it's not the right move. It's this move in a uh, well manner, not without clashing, you know, so okay. that there's no fights, there's, you know. So it brings uh, the teamwork. You have to give each other turns. So one has to um, lay the tokens down. Okay. One has to use the, to capture the, because you have to take a picture in order for the tokens to be read on the phone. So how do we work together? How do we give each other um, jobs or um, um, things to do around the community? So um, it's not necessarily just for these five people, but if they build, if they know how to work with um, these within the group, um, with people that they do not know, I'm sure and um, I'm, I'm really hopeful that they are able to work within the whole community. They are able saying. to also um, be able to communicate with the, their friends, with the next person, you know, it, it's, it, it's just the ripple I effects you. that I happen. You. I hear you. you know? I hear you. Um, I was actually going to ask this question earlier on, uh, who invented the game? Where does the game come from? Okay, so the, we are in partnership with Mandela University and Tangible Africa. Tangible Africa is a company in um, Eastern Cape that actually designed the game. So we're one of the pioneers. Um, we're working hand in hand with Tangible Africa. So even in the whole Northern Cape, we're actually the only ones who are, who are uh, using this tool. Um, I, in was the gonna, I was gonna. I was gonna. I was gonna make a follow up question on that. Um, I was gonna ask like who else and uh, where can if there's any other schools uh, or any other people that is you know, watching this this recording uh, that wants to get hold of the game. How do they? How do they do that? Where do we? Where do we get hold of it? Um, I will say the simpler thing. Um, we can. I can be the contact. I can be the contact person, and then because. In order for you to get this um, this box, I think it's um, four thousand right now. Four thousand the whole package with lesson plans because it has lesson plans. Um, so I think you can contact me directly, and then I'll organize with Tangible Africa. Because uh, in the Northern Cape, hello. in the Northern Cape, we actually now now um, um, what's this? Going around schools, introducing it to the schools, and also doing a um, teacher training so that they're equipped. Cause um, just last thing before you- Oh, Ari, please, 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 um, please um, take, your, take, take your time. There's no rush, eh? Okay, good. So um, you, I'm sure you, you, you read um, a month, two months back, Department of Basic Education um, introduced coding and robotics as um, added, it, it was, they added the curriculum starting from next year. Sure. You know, so sure. now, and this ranges is actually one of the tools that is going to be used um, for this, uh, yes, in school. Very, very so we, we already, so we introduced the game before the department um, introduced the, the coding to the schools. So already the schools even here are more, um, interested in it or seeing that, oh, so you guys have been doing the ranges and we also seeing it on the curriculum, you know, so, yeah. Wow, wow, I've got just, my brother, I've, I've got so many things I want to talk about. Um, uh, just, uh, just a quick step back, when you say that the, you know, the Nelson Mandela University uh, conceptualized the game, uh, do you perhaps know, do they, is it, was it a certain faculty, was it the faculty of coding or, I'm not even sure. That the right word. Science, science and technology. Science, um, that's, specifically, that's right specifically, it was um, pro, Professor Jean um, Grayling. 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 Yeah. Yes. 
But um, the 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 good story about this game is that it was also um, what do you call? There was uh one let's say one of the you see one of the learners that I'm with here, someone who's just a learner, was involved in uh, in designing the game. So it was a kid who was involved in designing a game. I that just is, do not know his name. That's super impressive. That is that is that, that is so impressive. Um, okay, okay. So let's let's just jump to um, before we get to the coding tournament. Um, you say that this is going to be part of the uh, of the of the uh, of the school system moving forward. That's fantastic. How is the teachers, uh, educators, and so forth? How how are they how are they receiving this? How um, 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 do they or, or, or first also do they need to have uh, a form of training first and how to operate the game? And um, what is their take? Because uh, in South Africa, unfortunately, whenever you come with something new, there's always a bit of a wait a minute, wait a minute. So just explain to us how is that? How is that working? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's it's crazy, um, man. Because I tell you, we have reached to um, there's three schools that we reached to around out like that are close to us, and there wasn't any interest you know um we had to follow up I, I tell you i had to follow up i'm not going to mention I names but we had to follow up um and the thing is we're not following up on the teachers but on the principals you know the people that run the school the decision so makers yeah there yeah. wasn't any interest some of them just ignored and something show and we continuously asking are you can we come are you interested like no there was no proper you know so teachers are not getting it because also remember we in northern cape um least developed so especially where we are it's deep rural remote where we're in Loxton, you know like you in Kimberley, but you do not know where Loxton is. Yeah, so, I'm embarrassed to say, but I actually didn't know. <laughs> teachers um, are not uh, equipped with coding, are not equipped with um, science and technology, you know. It's here in... in or the, the, the province, it's being a teacher, uh, being a farm worker, you know, not about technology stuff, you know. So it's a bit of, it's new, it's completely new, and you know, new scary. Um, just to um, just to add on that, I firstly, I, um, like you say, there's a bit of a throw, a, a pushback. Of course there is, um, of course it's going to happen. Uh, I think even in more developed, places like in Gauteng or the Western Cape, I'm sure it's the same over there because, um, okay, I was going to become critical on something, but let me just take, uh, the, <laughs> let me just move back. <laughs> I was going to point fingers at somebody, at some people, but my uh, my point is, is that, is that um, this encoding is, um, it's the, it's, it's the way of the future. Uh, um, 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 every, every aspect of our, of our lives is to do with technology. And technology is changing the way we the way we consume everything from food to, to every fashion. Everything is influenced by technology. And what really mm. crawls under my skin is the lack of enthusiasm right on top. Um, because you know the fish rates, uh, the, the fish rots from the end, and there's a serious lack of. And I know this is a fact that doesn't mean that the youth is not interested. It is just that the, 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 of the system. So salute my brother. This is fantastic work you're doing. And I'm going to promote this thing a lot. Uh, and that's actually why I want to stretch this <laughs> interview a bit longer because we haven't even gotten <laughs> into the tournament yet because I'm still interested in this game and how the youth is. Uh, 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 uh. So just so just, just one more question. Um, um, and I want to get like a, a, a sort of a survey from everybody behind you. Uh, 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 what are they... Yeah. Uh, what are they taking from the game? What is it? What is exciting about about playing with us? Is it the interaction? Uh, what are they learning? Um, 
Ani rechte kan, ani langer kan het makkelijk is aan die. What are you guys learning? And... Yeah, what are you learning? How are you? Even like, what is the what is the experience like? Are you like an African sprakel? Hello, my name is Grenwell. Arosa, alle noem ik Scroof. For me, the challenge is uh, giving instructions and follow the right instructions. That's the game for me, and I'm discovering that by myself, so I can teach that. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Is that after? Nah, the game is not interesting, man. When they see, can their skills develop, man? By day, see you every day. I see you okay, nay. All can some be open to what? He has potential. So yeah. That's the potential, my bro. By a, by a. Um, um, and just to, and just, and just to add on, like if you look at, if you look at countries like in Asia, for example, uh, I mean the continent, Asia is a continent, but like uh, China, for example, even India. Uh, there's a big move, uh, 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 you know, government is starting to educate. Uh, there's different curriculum and so forth for, for young people to uh, to learn coding. And what I'm finding fascinating about this game is that you don't even need a PC. You just need a smartphone. Yes. I, I find that, yes. I find that total revolution. That is, that is revolution. That is, that is, that is, that's one of the most revolutionary things I've heard probably all year. Um, and um, just a... You just don't a, need... You, just a just a quick technical question, King. Um, what's the network like that side? I mean, I mean, surely a very remote place, you know, a, a load shedding, uh, blah 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 blah. So 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 isn't that um, isn't isn't just like the network itself a bit of a even? Isn't that a bit of a problem? Network is a problem if we have if we. Do not have electricity. Everything is off. Like um, when was it that we had snow? We had snow the, a like a, a month ago. This side, so and then you know, trees falling on the lines and all that. We didn't have electricity for two days. Crazy. No signal. No uh, nothing. You know, for two days. But the good thing, as much as we do not have signal and all that, we can continue with coding with the game ranges. We don't have, we do not need signal or anything. And it's just the batteries. Whether it's electricity is uh, not there. As long our phones are charged, you have power banks, we can continue. Yeah. This, is, this, is, this is the most revolutionary topic i've had all year um okay 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 my brother so i'm just gonna wrap up this session yeah and I, i'm gonna close the session real quick and i'm gonna send you another link and then we can uh -huh. uh, follow up about the tournament and then moving forward yeah okay. so oh yeah one, okay one more thing zoom might sometimes ask me i must wait nine minutes before all of that happens so i will just send you via whatsapp now so i'm gonna lock off this and you'll hear from okay. me right now away okay cool Perfect. Okay, yeah, man. So just before that break, uh, explain to us the issues behind, uh, uh, or rather, how you are sort of working around, uh, I guess, your environment. And I think that's quite interesting because that's problem solving exactly what you are learning in the game. I think that's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. If there's just another point I want to make on that, uh, if there's one thing throughout my career, as an artist um, um, that I realized that one thing that that artists are just uh, a, a step above everyone else is our ability to problem solve. I don't know a single creative person anywhere in the world that looked at his or her surrounding and said, oh shit, I can't do anything. They always used the environment uh, to their benefit and usually that actually shapes and nurtures their art in whatever form, medium, Etc. Etc. So that is brilliant. So let's actually let's actually pick it up from there because, um, uh, or, or rather, or rather, pick it up from there or move into the uh, coding tournament, uh, which was which was which was held on the uh, my members on, on Nelson Mandela Day, correct? Yeah. Okay. So how did the yes, tournament work? Yes. Um, how does the tournament operate and sort of yeah, 
let's just start with it. So, how many how how many children do you have? And how, yeah, you understand what I'm asking? Yes. So, um, at the we in Loxin, we have only one primary school. There is no high school, so we have to also go to the next town to get other um, learners to participate in the tournament. So meaning we we travel like 180 Ks to the next town. So even when our kids are done with um, um, primary school, they have to move to the next town. Um, wow. So how the tournament works, um, we, we were working with grade from grade three to seven, which is foundational phase and intermediate, right? Um, here in Loxton. And then in Victoria West, we had we were only working with grade sevens at the moment, um, just to to prepare for the tournament. But um, since we're done with the tournament, we're now going to be moving on to having the whole school being part of uh, the um, coding. Uh, you know, so um, we actually had fifty five learners. For for four five learners, yeah, we had four five learners coming in that were uh, competing, but now the whole um how the game um operated it was um happening throughout the country. So because um tangible Africa, um uh, in PE and then even internationally we it was happening in Indonesia, it was happening in UK, um. At the same uh, at the same same day, not times uh, yeah, depending on where you are, you know. Yeah, of course. Yes, yeah. and um, we made our um, tournament a little bit different compared to others. Where others they just come in the room and start with the game. Others have robotics because robotics and coding go hand in hand. So they have robotics and then they have this. So we had the um, uh, treasure hunt, you know, <laughs> it was so amazing to see the whole town uh, filled with kids running around. Um, so we had conceptualized that in order for the kids to start um, coding the main game, we will do a treasure hunt where they hunt for the tokens for the for these tokens um, or. Uh, the code we call it a code right a tokens or code so they hunt for for this this will be a key or a pass um for them on the door at the door i mean so now when they we we the game has certain levels right so we put a certain level for them to look for the tokens and then when they get at the uh, gate, they have to um, solve a, this certain level for them to pass. If they don't have the right tokens, they have to go back because they do not have the key to enter. So it was just a uh, crazy interesting. So we had the um, uh, police involved. We had, oh yeah, let me show you. So I'm not sure if it's visible. Can you see this? Uh, there's still a glare on the screen. Uh, maybe just tilt the phone a bit. Maybe up or down. It's not a good shot. But uh, you know what, eh? Um, uh, uh -huh. stay, stay, uh, I was gonna, I was gonna make a follow-up question on this. Hey, look, is there a, um, I guess, another a link or a YouTube page or something that also explains the game, or, or, or other, or, or other web pages that I can, that I can add on to this, um, or, or rather read. Um, more into it yeah i will i will try to send okay. you the links and stuff can okay, you see a little bit yeah 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 i can so yeah. yeah they have to you see where the car is there's a car and then there's a small human being there so they have to um put the tokens in a way to capture this human being before he gets the rhino so now they do not know um, what exactly the level is all about. But they have to figure out the steps. So now the, they have to arrange the tokens that they got in these um, 
uh, stations in the key holders. So we had the uh, uh, police station, we had the library, and then we had our local shop here. That way, the key holders. So kids will um, get the envelopes that will have uh, a certain um, uh, what you cord to say to give you a clue of where to go. But also, it, it was um, educational, and also you should actually know the alphabets because they we were doing a thing where like you have to change the numbers to an alphabet in order to decode a certain code where it will tell you where to go. So it was a, 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 a huge uh, and that fun sounds, game, sounds, educational. That sounds, that sounds, that sounds, yeah. that sounds So epic. in these key holders also when they get there, um, they have to introduce themselves as a team. So for instance, when we when we working together or when we say introduce ourselves, we're like, no, you start first. No, you, you, no, you, you start that thing, you know. So instead of uh, passing the ball to each other, rather than um, introducing ourselves at once, because we, we've been together, we know who we are. So that's teamwork and um, all that. So we were looking at all these things, teamwork, um, confidence, are they, are they um, um, audible enough? Do you know what you're looking for? Do you know what you're doing? You know, and then the police will also give them um, highlighters or just a short career guidance. So we also had um, a career guidance during um, these uh, tournament. But a career guidance that was happening in the police station uh, where they talk about the police work and the library where they talk about the library and then uh, the corporate, the show, it's a, a corporation, a KVB. It's our local main shop, like a show bride in, in yeah, Lost. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. This is, yes, my brother, this is like, this is blowing my mind. Um, yeah. As you are speaking, I'm busy thinking of how else I can be involved in what you guys are doing. Uh, but I guess, you know, let's just take it one step at a time. What is, um, yes. So, okay, so I understand how the tournament is working. Uh, I understand uh, what the game is about. I understand how the youth, uh, or, or, you know, and the logistics behind that. So, um, moving forward, right? So, um, 2025 and beyond. Uh, oh, or rather, before, before I get there, uh, I wanted to ask this early on, actually. Explain to me, uh, once the youth has mastered the game, right uh, 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 what's the next step and and what does that sort of sort of sort of what building blocks or, or rather what uh, coding what do you, what do you really get what i'm saying from from here how do they yes. how do they move to actual um punching in codes on the on any device okay so um this is like i said this is the first step the introduction to um, coding just the because here you you can actually touch the code you can you can embody the code you can feel the code you know um, yeah. so now at, when when they've um, mastered this we then introduce them to Scratch Scratch is a programming language that's visual you know it still uses the same concept where you can um, you can't touch it, but it's visual, it's pictures, you know. So with kids also, it's easy for them to um, see picture. Okay, this is a, it's easy to learn from there, pictures and stuff. So Scratch is a good uh, platform for kids to learn coding as well. So now from this, we get them, we graduate them to using Scratch and um, we start even by, uh, designing um, games, you know, using the Scratch. We start designing games that are based on community prog um, community problems. So we'll ask the kids, okay, so go to, you know your community. What do you think is the most problem that you personally want to solve? That is bothering you. That will make your life easy. And then from there, they come with answers. And then we then um, start playing a game on Scratch, designing a playful um, 
uh, a scenario on scratch, you know. So then from scratch, we then uh, develop to, uh, what do you call this, introduce them to different types of programming languages because now they understand scratch, they understand the visual, and now it's easy to um, jump into your Java, your Python, your Ruby, you know. Super, super interesting. Uh, okay, man. Uh, so tell us uh, where, okay, you explained to us earlier on uh, that in order to get the game, uh, guys can contact, you know, people's listeners can contact you directly. Um, so give us like um, uh, websites, uh, social media handles, uh, and so forth and so forth. Like if they want to get hold of, not, uh, just, not just you, but learn more about what you guys are doing and so on. Okay. So we have a Facebook page. We go by the name Movement Story Technology and on Instagram as well, movement underscore story underscore technology. Um, you can find us both on Facebook and Instagram. Brilliant. Brilliant. I'll definitely, I'll definitely I'll pick up with you there. So, um, okay, man. So I think, I don't know if I, no, I didn't, I didn't ask this, but like how many years or, or how long has this program been going on for now in South Africa? Um, for the company with, with my company. No, 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 not the company, the, 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 the well, I, 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 you, you explained that I'm talking about the, the actual uh, tournament. Um, um, how long has it been going on for now? Um, so the tournament, I think, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I will say four to three years to four years. So it's all post COVID type of stuff, really. It's everything related yeah. to COVID. Yeah. Post COVID. That yes. is very interesting. Yes. That's very, very interesting. Yeah. So moving forward, what is the, um, you know, uh, 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 are you going to be having it every single year? Will it only be in, um, in Lakshya and are you looking to move to other cities? Did you get that question? Uh, no, I didn't hear you. Oh, uh, 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 in moving forward, right? You say you guys are like two, or, uh, three or four years old. Um, is it going to uh -huh. be held every year only in uh, Lakshya? Is it going to be held in other cities uh, across the Northern Cape and other provinces? Oh, so we, we're going to be hosting it every year. And um, it's, so it's going to be an annual event. And then um, our plan, or what we, we, we planned is that we're going to do a Northern Cape um, Teachers Union, where we actually get the teachers from the school um, to teach them the game. And since they also next, they, they, they have to, whether they like it or not, they have to start implementing this for foundational phase. So we want to create that um, platform where we actually are in care for the teachers. Because trust me, this, I know, uh, especially teachers year around, and some of them even have came to us and say, um, we, we do not know this. Um, it's great that you guys are here and are doing it and we'll need help from you guys. So we want to go into the schools in the whole Northern Cape and introduce this thing and help the teachers and get, the, get them equipped. So the, and make them even enjoy, you know, love this. Very important. Because you can't tell me that you're teaching the kids uh, a subject that you do not like, you know. So right now what they're doing in schools is that they just take the um, teach like foundational teachers and give them this type of work that they do not love. You get someone is not even interested in coding, in programming. So now it's it's not going to be, um, even as much as it's a good thing that we have it on the curriculum, but it's also still failing us because the people that are teaching it are not equipped and do not love it. You have to love it to teach it. You, you eat the nail on the head. Um... What um what do you need? What do you guys need in order to move forward? I know funding is always a thing, um, but yeah, um, so yeah, different yeah. sponsorships. Uh, is there is there any um, specific? I would say brands or companies that you uh, you know that you guys are looking at to sponsor you, uh, whether it be government, private sector, or whatever. Yeah, I mean, um, especially here we have 
problems with transport, you know. Um, like I said, the next schools that are uh, we have to go to are hundred k from yeah. you know um hundred and fifty in the same municipality, you know. This is same municipality. That's unbelievable. But, you know, it's so like we will definitely need uh, help with if we can get our own um, transportation, you know, that will really help us because we're able to even transport kids from one event to another. Um, just one thing I, uh, I, I forgot to let you know about yes. the annual event is that yesterday I was talking to one of the people uh, uh, people who, who do um, robotics and coding, we actually, he's suggesting we should have uh, a, a collaboration, right? Where um, one of his, where his sites, where the learners, they do a tournament in, in his region or province. And this side as well in the Northern Cape, we do a sort of a, a qualifiers. And then we have finals in the Northern Cape, or we have finals in the Popo and all that. And then with that, we can also even divert, um, 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 touch to the international um, platform as well. Brilliant, man. My brother, um, I'm going to try to help you guys in any um, way I can use my platform um, and the few resources I have. Um, as I mentioned <laughs> in the beginning, um, my company, uh, Gallery 360 Africa, we I'm in partnership with MLab, and those coders they are busy developing um, my technology for me. And um, the idea I said was to was to build a platform for artists uh, 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 that we can buy and share each other's work and so on, and um, and promote each other um, outside of of the of the meta companies and China's companies. Um, um, I'm, a, mm -hmm. I'm a proud Pan Africanist. I believe in um, 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 for us, by us, um, I, and, I, and I also believe in. I, I, what you guys are doing has blown, blown me away, man. I've had quite a fucking hectic week, to be to be honest. And um, actually, I was actually feeling still a bit under the weather this morning. But this was just brilliant, my brother. This is just. I, 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 everything impresses me, even the way the game got uh, conceptualized, in how you're implementing it, how you're using it, despite uh, the, and I know, like, we've got so much adversity, and what I, you know, you know, one thing about Africans is that we don't let adversity define us, you know, um, I think it was Shaka Zulu that said, I think the British said, <laughs> something about fire and he said no my people we eat fire um, 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 you <laughs> yeah. know, it's um, I'm, I'm saying it out of context but you understand what i'm saying is that like us as african people we don't it's in our it's in our bones not to uh, uh, uh let adversity define uh, uh you know Define. And this is, and this is just brilliant. can i can um, i even add on that yeah, can i just add on that yeah man. um you know, when you talk about coding, programming, computer science, it's co it's it's complex topic. You know, um, it's 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 really it's, people are even scared to jump on on these things. I mean, um, we using uh, we can talk to each other right now. It's because of um, someone programming, someone talk and 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 you know, so. These people that are behind me, they didn't. Do you guys? Uh, can I talk about this? Mm -hmm. They don't even have a metric. Some of them didn't even go to reach grade turn or grade nine, you know. But these young people, um, with what we have started, um, the trainings that we have done for them, um, they are able. They like. They, on Wednesday, we had, um, uh, uh, what do you call this, a visit from a Department of Sports, Arts and Culture. I wasn't around because I'm always here, you know. So these are the interns. And um, I have to be somewhere else. It, it's a must. I have to be there. But I'm like, okay, I have a team. These guys pulled an amazing work. They were there fully like fully they are 
they're now able to introduce coding and, and talk about coding, what, what coding is all about. You know, and, and not just necessarily because, you know, when you uh, talk about coding, um, sometimes most of the times people just think that it's it's you no, know, it's about uh, computers and all that. But it has to do with everything. Man. You How design thinking, computational thinking, you know, all that reasoning, how to be all that. So these young people that do not have metric are even we, we, like I said, we we planning a Northern Cape um, Teachers Union. They will be in charge of teaching. You understand the 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 uh, impact of it. You know. So I also just want to use this platform to say as well, um, support to rural remote uh, people because we do not have that support. When you think of remote areas, you think now. Nah, uh, People are not educated and all that. And yesterday was all about edu uh, importance of education. But education, where we are, like I tell you, my bro, you have to go a hundred k's to a high school. So, which means we do not have access to education as well. Straight up. But these people are able to pull such a complication and make it. Uh, basic understanding to these young kids ah brilliant uh, this is this is this is incredibly inspiring uh, and as i said i'm gonna try you know at least on my side what i can what i can do uh, uh, i'm totally i'm totally blown away man um, and i think we can um, we can uh, we can wrap it up there um, so you gave us your um so you see you guys on instagram and on uh, Facebook, I will add Facebook. just to my listeners. Um, I'll add all the details as per usual in the uh, comment section, uh, in the uh, description section over there. And um, if anybody is listening to this, and they, I hope it's moved you, uh, because uh, this is also what the art lecture is trying to do: is to give a platform to to, to these voices, but it's necessary, and it's. Um, as as Murph was saying, you know, um, uh, uh, everything is to do with technology, and we 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 communicating on, on on these platform. I think on on these platforms, thanks to technology, and I think it is just something that must be embraced and understood, uh, because we can't allow the West um, to keep beating us at this game. We have all the talent, yeah. have all the resources. Um, we can't, man. I can I can give a lecture on 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 that, it's especially pertaining to the arts. I was at a show last night. And um, I really think that most of these institutions are overlooking technology. And I'm going to be a bit critical here. I think it's because they are comfortable in in um, 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 in whatever system they really work in. And the world we're living in now, pre-COVID, uh, post-post-COVID, pardon, is a different world. It's not the same world when that, that virus got here. And um, it is naive to keep thinking and keep working the way we the way we did because it won't last forever. This is the future, like like you're saying with your with your phone. I believe that everything should be on here. Yeah. Everything, yeah. Everything from education to 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 everything. And if you can master, if you can master this over there, I think we are on the right track. So my brother, let's um, let's um, let's wrap it up there. Thank you to <laughs> thank you for taking your time. Thank you to all the learners. Um, 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 you, um, you mentioned that they don't have metric. You said it at least thrice. I don't see that as an obstacle. Um, honestly, I don't think that the, that you're not really missing out there. The education system is not really teaching you anything new or anything. <laughs> I um, I will I'll, I'll give you an example. I matriculated in '96, and I had six subjects in school. Okay, yes, I did have art as a subject. I went to a back then it was called Bottle C schools. I did have art as a subject that was, and it was only the uh, theory uh, that helped me mm. in my career. But none of the other subjects, I, I, obviously language, and and and, and yeah. some of the math skills. But there was nothing there. Uh, 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 the real the real, <laughs> the real skills you learn is 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 practical. Is when you're in the working uh, world. In, 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 in actually you know tangible working with 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 something and if your talent and your uh, the, the education system doesn't make you smart you know? yeah it makes us dumb 
you know, it's in yeah. your it's in your bones. It's 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 it's, it's just it just takes somebody like you, my brother, to sort of activate that. And uh, much love, man. Uh, I think we will leave it there. So uh, just to um, I will publish this episode. I think I'm gonna try to do it as soon as possible, man, because I've got two more. I usually publish on a Friday, um, mm-hmm. but um, I've got one. I think I think I'm gonna publish this other two in next week. So I'm gonna try to do yours by the second of November, uh, of August. I'm just gonna I'm just okay. gonna put up those those other two over the over the next two weeks because I I, I really want to get this one out as soon as I can. Um, because I feel this is just so much weird. And then as soon as I put that out, um, um, I chopped the video up into uh, shorts. Um, so I put that on all my social media platforms as well. Um, you know, bite size, but so so people can sample uh, what I talk about there. And I'll communicate that with you and everybody. You can share it and so on and so on. And let's keep the communication channel. I'm going to be following what you guys are doing. Um, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Thank love, you for having one love, us. One love, people. One love. Anytime. My king, you, if you if you if you have any other uh, projects, blah, you know, hit me up. Hit me up. Use my use my platform. My platform is available. Um, this is my studio. Um, I work from here. Um, so I, if I'm if you don't get hold of me in the afternoon, if you you can send me a text whenever, I will eventually reply. Um, I don't like to keep people okay. waiting. So bless and bless and bless everybody. Enjoy the weekend. Bless so, it. Thank you. Salute, salute. One love, man. Thank one you. Love, one love. One love.